We don't know what decade it is. I do already refer to these pants as my clown pants. It's right over here if you box you want. Let's go. We're gonna be sweat innovative. Genius. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking, Olivia, are you filming this the same day that you filmed that other video that you totally definitely already watched? Yeah, I am. We love a hustling queen, working hard, making content. I'm enjoying it. I feel like I'm making a lot of new stuff at a rapid rate lately and it's fun. I definitely am enjoying what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be taking some of your random scenarios and trying to dress like them. Like when people are like, an outfit that's good for a day on the job and then like going out on the town, you know, stuff like that. I wanna do that, but like way more intense. So I asked you guys on Instagram for really random scenarios. Some of them are literally insane. I don't really know. I haven't planned this at all. So let's get started. So I think I'm just gonna like scroll and like close my eyes and stop and pick one and maybe do like 10. I'm trying to go incognito at a 70s roller rink. Okay, let's do this thing. If I'm going incognito, that probably means that I'm like really 70s, you know? Like I'm trying to like really fit in. Am I a time traveler? I guess so. I feel like if I do this dress, kind of just like a cop out. Okay, I'm gonna put something together and then we'll circle back. Yeah. So this is what we have for incognito 70s roller rink person. So we have this nice jacket. Jacket's kind of 70s-y, I don't know. And then like this top. And I'm letting these like sheer pants have a moment. Can you tell that they're like absolutely see-through? I don't know. And then one of these little head things and then when they're like, hey, why are you why are you even here? Are you even from this decade? Like, are you a time traveler? Like, are you even here to skate? You're like, yeah, I'm here to skate. I'm ready. I'm here to skate. Clearly, obviously, yeah. You want me to put my knee pads on over my pants? Because I can do that too, okay? Don't question me. On to the next. <laughs> okay, time to pick the next one. Let's see. Attending a board game night at the Obamas. Interesting. All right, let's do that one. I have to be kind of classy, but also like, I know the Obamas can get down, so like, but is it okay to be like in my comfy, casual, like board game night sweats, like around the Obamas? Like, should I wear a blazer? Or should I be like those influencers that literally wear sweats with a blazer dude that's it that's totally it I'm gonna do it I'm doing it all right this is what we're wearing I personally think that this trend is like really stupid and I really don't like how it looks I think it looks kind of dumb it's also possibly because I just look stupid in it and this outfit is kind of horrible but we still drive in we go into the Obamas we're gonna play some games so what we have here my blazer obviously and I decided to put on my nasty gal pin so they know that my priorities are like in the right place you know, would have voted for Obama if I were not in the fifth grade and voted for Hillary when I could, voted for Bernie, voted for Biden, you know, like we've got it all. We're in check. Democrats. So we have the blazer for, you know, first impressions just to be like, oh, hi, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Obama, presidents of the United States. Malia, Sasha, y'all around, y'all ready to game? Cause you know I'm game. And then we whip off the coat, we're ready, we're comfy, we're in the zone. It's time, here we go, let's roll. Rock and roll, okay, next. An outfit you can wear to a funeral in the club in the same day. Oof, that's easy, that's easy. We're going to the funeral. We're very sorry for your losses. Thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, of course, I'm so sorry. But but then it's time to shed some layers. Maybe take your hair down because we are going to the club. And listen, I know people grieve in different ways, but let's get into it. <laughs> Is it obvious that I haven't been to a club in like a really long time? <laughs> pretend these boots are black. They're brown. Just pretend they're black. Cause then we can wear them to the funeral as well as the club and not have it clash. All right, anyway, I feel disrespectful doing this. Next outfit. Pulled over to wait out a storm in the lobby of a haunted 1920s hotel. You get a drink at the bar. This is like the start of a just a perfect mystery novel. I love it. Okay, let's do it. The hotel was built in the 1920s, so I don't technically have to dress 1920s, but I kind of want to. Okay, so here's what we have. I'm picturing this scene taking place at nighttime. Even then, I still want to wear the sunglasses because somehow in this like murder mystery, haunted house, hotel, bar, 1920s moment, I was just like getting like like clue vibes, like you know the board game. And I was thinking like maybe I'm Professor Plum, I'm gonna wear some purple, and maybe I have a secret. So I'm gonna wear the sunglasses at night. I'm gonna wear this head thing. We don't know what decade it is. Was the hotel built in the 1920s or was I built in the 1920s? I don't know. But with the information that we had, this is what I came up with. Hold your applause, but I think it's pretty great. Don't come near me. I'm drinking a vodka gimlet up, one olive. That's what my mom orders. Okay, cool, next. Going to dinner at a restaurant where the dress code is strictly clown? 
say less. I feel like this is pretty good, but it's also like kind of chic and I feel like something that I would wear. I've got my new scrunchie, this little bow, flowers, and lots of polka dots. I do already refer to these pants as my clown pants for obvious reasons. You're looking at them. You know how like clowns like shoot water out of their little flower lapels? That's kind of what I was going here with this vibe and like lots of polka dots and like oranges and reds and yahooties. On to the next then, love. The youth group sleepover lock-in at first prez. <laughs> You know if you're going to a youth group lock-in, there's gonna be boys. Boys you need to impress. So not only do you have to look cool, but you also have to be like praising God. So you have, you know, so like, okay. Okay, I really thought I was doing better on this one, I'm not gonna lie to you, but let me explain it. So basically you arrive to the function and you're wearing your cool older sister's juicy couture velour this. So you're wearing it, it's cool, it's like a vintage. I don't know, what year are we in? Cause the last time that I went to like a youth group thing was when I was like trying to fit in with my Christian friends and I was like early middle school so I feel like it would be early middle school actually I did go to some in high school I had new Christian friends that I had to impress so was I saved no did I save myself from embarrassing myself in front of the boys also no because I have a vivid memory of me wearing <laughs> oh it's so cringy was wearing jean shorts and a jersey from St. Chris which is the boys school I went to an all-girls school the boys school and I like cut it but I did a crop top that was like, oh my god, it was so bad. And I just remember having my hair in like a really high ponytail and like people being like, what are you wearing? But I was like, I'm impressing the boys. I don't understand. What do you get? We're wearing this, but then it's going to get warm and you're going to take it off. And you're wearing a big t-shirt because you're just one of the guys, you know? People are like, where are your pants? And you're like, Ugh, Nike shorts, loser. Nike shorts, obviously. Because those are too short for the Christians. You have to... You know, you're probably gonna end up looking like this. And the t-shirt that you're wearing is a big t-shirt. Maybe you stole it from your brother, maybe you stole it from your dad, but most importantly, it's something that you know nothing about that will maybe impress one niche boy. And in this case, this is a shirt that I'm ashamed to own. It's a Kanye West merch shirt. The one boy that likes Kanye, who is ultimately gonna be toxic because he likes Kanye, say less, he'll get it. And then you'll have a little flirtation ship and you'll literally never talk again, so. Praise God. The, the lighting is getting bad. My phone just went on dark mode. I gotta finish this. Running into your ex unexpectedly. I can't go full glam for you right now, but I will. I will. This is a more of a reflection on me than it is anything. Because like, how would I want to be seen if I ran into my ex? This is a start of this moment, which I'm a big fan of. But also at the same time, it's not great. It's a little flashy, but I'm kind of thinking like the more flash, the more like, I'm better than you, look what you lost, you know, kind of deal. My thing is that pretty much almost everyone I've dated besides one guy has either been my same height or shorter than me. So I'm thinking like, if I see them, I gotta be wearing heels. So if they're like, how do you get to this place? And I'm like, oh, you don't know where that is. That's so embarrassing. It's right this way, sir. Oh, oh, you don't know where that is? Just over here, just over to the left. They're like, oh, hey, by the way, crazy running into you. Um, I'm actually kind of lost because I don't live in this awesome city that you live in. I'm just visiting like a stupid tourist. And how do you, how do you get to, to this coffee shop? I'm like, oh, it's right over here, three blocks to your left. <laughs> okay, next. That was super painful, let's do the next one. A person who sells trinkets by the sea at their family souvenir shop. Let's do this thing. So this is my fit. I know it's not like the cutest fit, but I think it's my favorite so far. Let me paint a picture for you. So I'm wearing my folklore sweater, which is like kind of iconic. But we have this little shirt that's like a little sailor shirt. When I picture this, I feel like it's more like north. Maybe it's like Maine or maybe Rhode Island. So I'm sitting here, I'm in the shop, I'm in the antique shop. Maybe not that many people are coming through. So my prop that I have with me here is this vintage French textbook. Here we have this. But you know what? I'm just studying. I'm doing the best I can to just get out of this coastal town and stop working with my family and just really spread my wings and have a dream to go to France one day. I just don't know if I can because I'm barely making any money from the antique shop and this seashell shop or whatever I'm doing. My Sally sells seashells by the seashore or whatever. Was I just played into a riddle? It's not a riddle, a tongue twister. My name's not Sally. Now I want to go to France and I'm going to wear my folklore cardi until the day I die. Yeah, cool. On to the next. Strawberry shortcake on a jog around the pyramids. So very frilly, girly, fun, cute, awesome, but also sweaty. So here we have strawberry shortcake going on a jog around the pyramids. I'm not wearing shoes. What I'm wearing here, pink biker shorts. This little shirt that my friend made. Very cute, little strawberry guy on it. Felt fitting. Nice little garden scene headband to keep my hair back when I'm sweating. And these flower glasses. And then my water bottle. I tried, I wanted something green because, you know, like strawberry, like it's green and reddish, pinkish. So I have my water bottle that's green because, you know, 
we're gonna be sweating <laughs> in the pyramids. Also, did you guys know, I recently found out that the pyramids are like straight up right next to the city. Why did we not learn about this when we were in like elementary school learning about pyramids? It blew my mind when I saw that image. I like, I literally thought you had to like, if you wanted to see the pyramids, you had to like get on a camel and go travel to see them. Are people just like photoshopping out the city in their photos? I also learned that there's a Domino's inside of the pyramids, which I know is kind of like, oh, that sucks. Cause it does, but also going to that Domino's is on my bucket list, so. I have two more? I don't remember. Let's do two more, okay. Churros with a cowboy. Don't know what that means, but let's do it. <laughs> so I totally forgot that I have this red foam cowboy hat. I bought this at Dollar Tree when we threw a Western party when I was in college, and I still have it. Thank you, Olivia, for being a hoarder, you rock. And then I have my black cowboy boots on, obviously. I have this black fringe jacket fringe jacket and here's the thing you're like where did the churros come in well i have you i got you covered so you're eating a churro it's so good you're really enjoying it you're having a good time you're with your cowboy bff you're like wow this couldn't get any worse but it does because crumbs on your fingers crumbs on your fingers crumbs in your lap crumbs everywhere you know how freaking sugary and flaky those churros are well i have you covered not only does this scarf look darn toot and cool it also doubles as a mask not effective don't wear these masks guys just get a regular mask but if you you pull it apart you can hold the churro in one hand so your fingers don't get messy and then you can have this as kind of like a bib innovative genius I kind of like this fit it's kind of cute not gonna lie <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the last one so giddy up Draco invited you to his apartment flat but you have to help Hagrid in the woods first. I like that one. Let's do it. Okay, hello, quick aside. I'm here editing this video right now and I'm trying to find music and it's just insane that this is literally a thing. I like can't stop laughing at how ridiculous it is. Like the description of this video, please enjoy. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if we're in the Harry Potter world, my immediate instinct is like cloak. Of course, like scarf with my house colors on it. I know that Draco is a Slytherin and that's like green Clearly, I'm not a Slytherin. That's what makes this little rendezvous so steamy. So I have to make all these excuses. I don't have time. Be like, no, Hagrid, sorry, I can't help you in the forest. And he'll be like, why? You know, like I have to. So like I have to just help him. So whenever I think of Hogwarts world, I think of like, I guess like Harry Potter world. Whenever I think of that, I always think of like winter. So obviously long trench working in like the woods. So I've got my heavy duty jeans on, but then the moment has come to go to Draco's flat. Allow us to shed some layers. Things are going to get a little bit more intimate. So naturally we're going to have to strip down to something a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more flirty, a little bit more, a little bit more accessible. <laughs> But, and of course, how taboo, we must shed our colors to show our true colors of who we are when we're hanging out with Draco and his loft. Have you guys watched the, like, Draco fan cams? They're a little uncomfy, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy them. Draco, you've cast a spell on me. Sweet, I think that's it. I think we did 10. Okay, so I did in fact change back into this outfit to close you guys out. Also just because I'm gonna be editing all night tonight and I wanna be comfy and this is like my new favorite outfit. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which scenario you would most likely want to be in. And I swear to God, if all of you say being invited to Draco's flat, you're all sickos and you need to get your minds checked. Chill out, okay? Chill out. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.